Joe and I were fossil hunting in Florida when I made a bucket list discovery. I have my very first ever whole Arimatherian tube, the largest of the giant ground sloths. Hidden in a remote part of Florida were the fossil remains belonging to an Arimatherian, one of the largest animals to ever exist. It's over here, right to my left. I haven't checked in front of it to see if there's any more to the animal. Before today, I had never found any complete fossils from this iconic Ice Age giant. It has been on my bucket list for a long time. What you think about that, Joe? Mm, you might live to get out of here. So come join us as we explore the wild parts of Florida and try our best to avoid huge alligators. Yeah, I got your gator on film. You literally... Right beneath us right now. This is our bucket list discovery of 2023. Cat John's cheating on you with the rancher's daughter. That's how we get access here. Oh, shh. Don't tell her. I ain't telling her. I'm telling your audience. She don't watch this sh Yeah, look at that. Look at that there river. Oh, wow. It's slow and clear, isn't it? It is still moving quick enough, though. It's not going to yeah. be... It was not sandy at all yesterday in the other area. Oh, nice. So it should still be fine here. That's a good spot right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of the good spots. Mm. Go right up on them fossils. All right, we gotta get these wetsuits on. Mine's still wet and cold. I don't wanna. We gotta do it, Joe. Mm. We gotta do it, buddy. My stomach hurts again. What is it about this place and always making my stomach hurt? It's the gators. Good biz, too. Mm-hmm. We see any gators, we'll see them well before. We actually run into them. We've got wet suits on. Joe's getting his little jacket. He's got. I gotta do that with my ones. We destroy so many wet suits out here. But I cut my butt off with this one here. I made it into a vest. This right here, cheap Amazon pay us uh, <laughs> Lamorican uh, wet suits here. They're junk, but they keep the they keep the cold out. Especially when you cut them and make them into vests, because I immediately right. ripped the butt out of this one. Lem I guess we can't Anybody say... endowed with the butt, don't get a Lamorican. Get a, I don't know. I like Scuba Lulu, Pro and A Lululemon one, I don't know. Lululemon, oh yeah. Yeah. Lululemon, pay us. <laughs> Amazon, pay us. We're going to get underwater for the first time. Water temp's about 52, 54 degrees, but shouldn't John, be a problem. you got to zip up my vest. I got to zip up Joe's vest, and then we're going to get in the water. We're already right there. Yeah, man, thanks for getting my license plate in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I'll blur it out. Why do you why do you care? I don't know. Do you know. think people are gonna be spot stalking us here? Maybe. Fifty bucks I'll take you guys here. Fifty bucks? Fifty bucks. Oh man, that's a little bit cold. Woo, we'll get used to it. But yeah, it's definitely chilly. Our goal, now that we're underwater, is to look where the river has been eroding new pieces of bone and to trace that bone, if possible, to larger fossils. So you can see that already in the river channel, there are plenty new pieces of fossilized bone and some of them are quite large, which is always a good sign. We typically space out our fossiling trips to allow the river to naturally erode fossil material from the formation and then we check these spots every single year to see if anything incredible has washed out of the formation. Big chunk of bone. That's cool. We weren't the only wild animal that was hanging out in the river today. And that's one of the fun things about these trips is we get to say hi to all the local wildlife that hangs out in natural areas like this. All right. We got something cool. Let's figure out how to get this thing on. Yep, we're rolling. We have something very cool beneath us. It's the first good find of the day, the first bend. Let's go take a look at it. Oh yeah, first good find. 
That's a keeper. Too bad this tooth on this side's broken. But that's a nice display. Woo! Find anything? Take these. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Yo, that out. took me out. That was scary. Yeah. I'm not catching it. I need a collecting bag. You promised me a mastodon tooth. All I got was that junk in that bend. Piece of the mammoth tooth? Yeah. Alright, we'll find more. I'll show you this jaw real quick. I also got a snake ferret, which... I love these snake verts. Big ol' yeah. camel vert. Camel vert. Right there, camel vert. Some normal stuff. And then... That is remarkably good for one bend on this river. This river yeah. is usually stingy. So... Super stingy. I mean, that already is a good find. That's your find of the day, man. Well, I mean, we've done one bend. Normally how it goes. Let's keep on pretty cool extinct. Taper jaw. Yeah, I like the roots on this side sticking in. Be yeah, cool if you had man, that, that tooth, tooth. would have been sweet. Oh well. Yep. Oh well. Can't complain. It's a good find. Yeah, you can. I guess I can. But you're right, it's an American. You didn't bring enough weight, Joey? I'm considerably fatter since the last time I did this, though. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, I've got spot number two for today. Oop, gotta do some maneuvering. John, is there a gator slide down there? Um, I don't see a gator slide. I see bird. Bird stuff, but no okay, gator. That's a good sign. I'm gonna hop in back there. Okay, I'll go forward this way then. We'll let you know if we get something. Mm. Mm. Look at that tree. Perfect flower shape. Nice, nice one. Alright, let's get back out of water. That's not even lifted on. That's a big giant armadillo scoot too. Holy crap. That's a cool piece of armor. <sighs> That's sweet. We got another lifted on scoot. Looks like a fossil gator scoot too. Scoot. Ooh, another scoot. Very nice. Uh, Look how big this giant armadillo scoot is. Look at that. Bunch of junk. Bunch of junk. That's good stuff. It's time for some context about what we just found. Glyptodons and giant armadillos were cingulates, which is an order of mammals that included glyptodons, anteaters, armadillos, ground sloths, tree sloths, and pamphatheres. What we found were the armored plates that these giant animals evolved to protect themselves from ice age predators like Smilodon and the American lion. Bunch of armor, giant armadillo, those two, Glyptodon scoots, those two. These animals had hundreds of these armored scoots, and since they are exceptionally hard pieces of bone, they often are preserved in the fossil record. Let me see. Don't yoink that. The giant armadillo scoot is huge. That's a big one. Where's that glyptid? Oh yeah. Oh, so nice. That one's obviously cooked. Yep. Yeah. My stuff's better. I don't know about that. There we go. Oop. All right, let's get out of here. Joe decided to check a spot back there. I got a spot here. Let's see who finds better rocks. See how it is. when I finally beat you on a hole, you won't freaking let me film the I'll film your stuff. Look at all this stuff. Got that there giant beaver incisor. 
Got that there giant tortoise. That's a nice giant tortoise claw. Yep. Probably my biggest one. Yeah. Got some ivory and some armadillo. Oh, nice. Armadillers. All right, we'll find better. Now that is a sketchback pond. So Joe and I are deciding to divide and conquer a route. I hate walking through these palms. What's up? There's fresh gator slides all over this bank. Oh, okay, that's not good. Joe, you struggling? Whew. Look at this bend. This spot looks good. Yep. That's all new erosion cutting down those trees, so that right there is probably loaded. You hopping in there? Whoa, maybe. Might not have a choice at this point. I thought you was checking that bend out. That big guy changed the dress. What? That big guy changed the dress. Was he in there? Yeah. You saw the alligator? Yeah. Oh, big <laughs> Think we can put the GoPro in there? No! I know where he's at. He's underneath the tree ball. There was like a sprue of gravel coming out on the left and I moved around the tree ball and he was like chilling right there. And whoo! <laughs> I'll I go think back you should. in there and tickle his chin. Oh God. <laughs> uh, I'm done. We got that there, selfie stick. And we're gonna see if Joe really did run into a gator. Man, he probably moved. We'll see. Right, you see that root ball? So right in here? Yeah, it should be somewhere in there. Yeah, I got your gator on film. He is literally right beneath us right now. He flipped sides though, so his tail is right, his tail is right there, his head's right there. We'll show you one more time, but now. That's your gator, Joe. See, I wouldn't bullshit. You weren't, you weren't, that was a gator. <laughs> He's not a small one either, it's like a seven, eight footer. Yeah, I told you, seven or eight foot. Dang. His head was, you know, about that, yay. No, we've definitely gone by a couple gators and not known, yeah. especially in wider rivers. If I hadn't have checked around that root ball, I would have just kept on going. Yeah, I mean, it sucks that you typically, I don't know why we typically run into them head first. Well, they're pointed down, downstream, it's probably easier that Yeah. Way. That way you're not getting stuff pelting you in the eyes. Yep, it makes sense, and they can easily take off. And yeah. we gotta go the opposite direction so we don't get pushed into them. So we typically run into them head first. Yeah, Business if, I'd end. Have, if I'd have gone around them and then get swept back into that root ball, that would have been scary, because I would have touched legs with his tail. <laughs> and it would have whipped around like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Actually, it, I don't. I think it's too cold for it to whip around. No, this is the best. I don't the think best. they got enough gas for a whip. This is the best time of the year to look for them. Well, look for fossils. They don't really do much right now. You smell something? Skunk? Oh, I pooed my pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we do not think there's a gator in this bend, but I'm still gonna do a little bit of a look-see because this bend looks really good from the cut bank, but it also looks very sketchy. Speaking of sketchy, look at this stuff. How is that not absolutely terrifying? There's no gator immediately below me. Maybe I'll go check that little sandy bit and see if I can't see one in there. I'm gonna get one more look over here where it's shallow before I get in. But I think I'm looking pretty good. Making all sorts of noise though, which is not good if you're trying not to attack the gator. Honestly though, it'll be safer if there is a gator in there that I come up on it this way than directly from the side because this way I'm prey. That way I'm another gator. And so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and hunt this.
Billy the Daisy. Billy. 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 Nice little shark tooth. Alright, Joe's whistling at me. I'll go find him. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna lose another camera. Oh man, I have gone through a few cameras, haven't I? Yeah. Let's unclip that first. And I'll show you what I got in the rest of this spot. I got all this good little small stuff. Aye, so, man, camel tooth, rocks. gator, gator. Uh, oh, a little deer. And then here's the cool tooth. Oh, that's nice. It is nice, isn't it? Woo! I was just yeeted it all Wait back. Wait a minute. That's not... It's bare. Ah. Uh, mm, sure it's not put, peccary? No, it's bare. Let me okay. put it all down. I can't tell through the lens here. Yeah, that's bare. It's a decent one. Yeah, it's definitely bare. Mm -hmm. Good one. Not as nice as that canine I found last week, though. Oh, uh, shut up. Just saying. I'll get to see that later. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen it yet. No. You know what's nice about that river? What's nice about that river? I haven't seen a gator underwater yet. True, there's plenty of them out there, though. Are you talking about your epic fall? When right you above where the alligator was? Right where the alligator was? Yeah. Where the alligator was. I got both of your slips and trips on nice. camera where the alligator was. I was like, how am I going to include this footage? I'm like, okay, right now, this is Joe trying to gracefully get in a spot where a big ass gator is. Yeah, what, what's the what's the safety proto around big old gators? The safety proto is you always go against the current and you enter at the shallowest point, and not splash, slipping. Right? Yeah, you don't splash. Oh, cool. Oh, dude, do you remember? That's like an ultimate sketch pun. Oh, yeah, I remember this. That's a straight up sketchy pun. Nope. Do you reckon there's gravel down there? I reckon. You want to go check? Yeah. All right, I'll bubble watch. Whee! Oh, I thought that would be more eventful. Yay! Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm going to toss you the camera. You ready? Yeah. Nani? I thought it was positively buoyant. I lose another camera. Bust ass. Whee! <laughs> that was kind of fun, actually. All right, today's not over just yet. We still got this. And only we'll one more bend to check out. It's definitely gatory, but what can you do? Modern pig skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yo. Oh, look at that sucker. That's super rocky down there. Yep. I have my very first ever whole Arimatherian tube, the largest of the giant ground sloths. It's not like a super big one, Joe, but it's Arimatherium. It's got like a crack down the middle, so it's probably really unstable, but it's all there right now. Yeah, the ones I found right there were broken down the middle. Yeah, I found little chunks here before too, but I've never found a whole one. So this is really exciting. I'll guess, do you want to come see it before I pick it up, Joe? Okay, I'm gonna show it to the camera. I'll wait for you to pick it up and I'll see if there's anything else floating around. If there's a claw in here one day, that would be too much to ask for. Let's take a look. Yeah. 
Yep, that's exactly what that is. Woo! There are pieces of another one or the same one. We'll see if they click together, but there's a couple more broken pieces right there. It's over here, right to my left. I haven't checked in front of it to see if there's any more to the animal, but it's right over here. So this is all um... This is really delicate though, we have to keep it wet. That's a cool thing too. What? Yeah, it's got cracks going all. It's ready to split any second. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's ready to fall apart. Yeah, it's absolutely ready to fall apart. That's why they come out so beat up. So, right here. that'll definitely have to be stabilized. We'll have to keep it wet and keep it wet in the car too. Wow, that's cool. But it's whole. That is super cool. Wow, that is a freaking awesome tooth the biggest of all extinct ground sloths. And when I say big, I mean it. An adult arimatherium, when reared back on its hind legs, would have been 14 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh over three tons. Just for comparison, here is seven foot four, Victor Wipanyama of the San Antonio Spurns next to an arimatherium. And yet they are both quite small when compared to a sauropod. Dope. I'm gonna go check the spot way back there. Okay, do you mind finding like a pool a puddle to put that in or something? I'll make a muck puddle up on the bank. I appreciate it. One thing that is really exciting about this discovery is that we also found broken segments of other teeth. I found two other pieces. Right here? Yeah. There we go. Another piece. Oh, f hell. That would be a different animal, right? Or is that an upper and not a lower? We do believe that these fossils are coming from a single animal. And the fact that it isn't a single isolated tooth makes me hopeful that we may discover more from this animal. Maybe even one of their claws, which grew to be upwards of 16 inches in length, with the largest ever found being over two feet long. That thing is sick though. Yeah. Yep. God, if that was a ring of thing and claw though, oh, you'd have murdered me. I got a knife. Interesting enough, there were two species of Arimatherium that lived in Florida. Arimatherium emigrans and Arimatherium loriardi. Emigrans lived in Florida between 2 million and 600,000 years ago, while loriardi was in Florida between 240,000 and 12,000 years ago. This means, based on the geologic context, the animal we found is most likely Loriardi, since we were mainly in late Rancho Labrean, or otherwise known as late Ice Age sediments. However, to tell for sure, we would have had to find the claws to this animal, and that is because emigrants have a complete battery of five finger digits, while Loriardi only had three digits, losing digits one and two for an unknown evolutionary reason. I'm not too worried about it, I just want to get it home and then let it dry slowly. Don't and put glue on that for a while. No, I gotta let it dry completely. Yeah. That's such that's a gonna take, crazy tooth. That's gonna take a while to dry. These things are so crazy porous. I know. It was a claw. Mm. My, my stepdad got me a shiny new dive light for Christmas. Uh, dive knife, did I say dive light? You said dive light. Dive knife. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 
I'm tired. Let's get out of here. We plan on coming back to this spot, and we hope to bring you with us then. If you enjoyed the video or just learned something new, subscribe. And if you want to watch even more of our content, you can click on one of the videos on the left-hand side of your screen. And as always, keep on digging science.